Bluebird 198, one localizer established, to send Alice. One steps on localizer, send Alice, one now. Bluebird 198, could you give me a wind check, please? Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back to our uh, Polish Airlines 737 operations. As you can see, today we're sitting in the flight deck of our Boeing 737-800 aircraft, and which will fly from Warsaw to Olbia, located on the uh, beautiful island of Sardinia. Sitting to my right is uh, my colleague Mirek, who will be uh, performing the first officer duties uh, on today's flights. Uh, I'll be the pilot flying on the outbound leg. For information, we're estimating flight time to be around 2 hours and 10 minutes, and we'll be cruising at uh, 40,000 feet. So uh, just to keep you up to date, uh, we just completed our pre-flight procedure followed by the pre-flight checklist, and we are about ready to start our final flight of preparations, requesting ATC clearance. So please join us. Request ATC clearance. Deliver the agenda, Blue Lot 8557-92, information, Quebec, ready to copy clearance to Olbia. Blue Lot 8557-Vita, I'm clear to Lima, India, Echo, Oscar, via flight plan route. After departure, runway 15, climb 6000 feet altitude via Evina 5 Delta, squawk 5551. Information, Romeo, QNH1016. To destination of runway 15, uh, initially climbing 6000 feet, Avina 5 Delta, departure squawk 5551. We'll check Romeo QNH 1016, slot 8557. Slot 8557, correct, report ready for startup. Welcome. So, Mirek, I heard Avina 5 Delta, 6000 feet, squawk 5551, and we can set QNH 1016. QNH 1016. So, in order to do the uh, threat-based briefing, both of us are familiar with the NOTAMs, the airport briefing sheet as per company policy, the Egyptian reference charts, and we'll individually check the waypoints to make sure it's correct okay. against the chart. So, advise when ready for the briefing? Yes, I am ready. Okay, so starting with the charts, uh, we're on stand at 92 to get today, so we're expecting a pretty short taxi to runway 1-5, most probably via Zulu Alpha to Delta 2. Intersection departure, runway 15. For the initial emergency briefing, up to 80 knots. We'll stop for any malfunction or mass precaution. Above 80 knots and uh, before V1, I'll reject the takeoff for a fire, fire warning, engine failure, predictive windshield warning, or if the aircraft is unsafe or unable to fly. If I decide to reject, I'll call stop, simultaneously close the thrust levers, disengage the auto throttle, verify operation of RTO, or apply max manual braking. Raise the speed brake lever and apply max reverse. Once yeah. the aircraft is stopped, I'll set the parking brake and advise over the PA, correct stations, correct stations. Your actions? I will monitor your action and call any omissions. I will memorize the brake on speed, uh, call speed brake up or not up, uh, reverse the normal or any abnormal indication, call 60 knots, uh, auto brake, disarm, and inform the ATC. Perfect. We'll assess the situation, perform any required memory items. If uh, we decide to evacuate, we'll do the evacuation checklist from the QRH. Yeah. Case of engine problems after V1, up to 400 feet, no actions, except to cancel any warnings and raise landing gear. At 400 feet or above, we'll set heading select, state malfunction, the engine failure procedures, uh, direct track 147, runway heading. Flat retraction altitude is 1,360. Gross weight considerations, we're well below max landing weight, so we can return um, for an ILS to runway 11. Of course. Normal SID, it's the uh, Avina 5 Delta on chart 10 uh, 3 Foxtrot. Same on my side. And it's uh, issued from the 18th of June 2021. Initial climb clearance is 6,000 6, feet and uh, no particular threats. Terrain wise, highest MSA is 2,500 feet. Weather, no threats at all, beautiful weather. Operational, we'll use uh, auto throttle El Navina if we'll be armed. NADP 2. And uh, no supplementary procedures, no MEL procedures. Please. For the plus, uh, Mirek, do you identify any other threats for today? No, the weather is good. Uh, no high traffic. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Exactly right. No, we do have a cameraman on the jump seat. We'll treat that as a threat. But as per company policy, we'll mitigate it by having a stereo cockpit below flight level 100. Of course. Right. If there's no any other questions, no remarks. No question. No awesome. Perfect. Briefing complete. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, your captain speaking. My name is Maximilian Yemchitsky. On behalf of La Polish Airlines and the entire crew, I have the uh, pleasure of welcoming you on board this Boeing 737-800 aircraft in our flight 8557, shortly departing to Olbia. 
The flight time today will be two hours and ten minutes, and we will be cruising at 40,000 feet. Thank you for your attention. I wish you a pleasant stay on board. So, Munich, you ready for the load sheet? Yes, I'm ready. So, load sheet edition one, total number of passengers, 117, souls on board, 123. The zero fuel weight is 52.6. For takeoff, 61.1. 61.1, that's checked. The cruise CG is 20.1. 20.1. And the takeoff CG will be 25.1. CG 25.1. Perfect, there's no no talk and this load sheet is signed. So request performance, please. Sorry. Runway 15, let's take intersection Delta 2. And uh, in the second one, let's take the full runway 15, just in case we need it. There we go. Surface dry. Gross CG 25.1 slash takeoff weight 61.1. Next page. Thrust optimum, flaps non standard one. No wind shear and engine anti is auto. Perfect. You can send that. Set. Let's take problem. off that up. The release is correct. You can re return, load FMC, and print, please. Take off that uplink, you can accept. And uh, try intersection delta 2. And accept. Perfect. So, performance figures ready. Yes, and the remarks is just caution flaps one in use, which we are well aware of it. Yes. D rate takeoff two. Exactly. Assume temperature 49. Check. Flaps one. V speeds V1 135, VR 140, V2 143. All correct. The engine failure procedure and flap track shell two is the same, no changes. And the rejected takeoff distance remaining is around 1,000 meters. Okay. Cross check. D rate takeoff two. Assume temperature 49. Flaps one. V speeds V1 135, VR 140, V2 143. Next page, NADP two. Checked. Cool. Delivery lot uh, 8557, uh, we're fully registered 92. Lot 8557, uh, contact ground 129005, thank you. Ground 129005, thank you. Okay, ground CW lot uh, 8557, stand 92, request push and start. Lot 8557. Okay, Grant, Dzień dobry. Pushback and start at the through. Information Sierra, face to taxiway Zulu. Pushback and start at the through. Information Sierra, facing Zulu, lot 8557. Alright, before start checklist. Cap quality 4419 request. Closed and locked. Fuel. We got uh, 8,700 kilograms pumps on. Passenger signs. On. Windows. Locked. Locked. MCP. V2143 heading 147 altitude 6000. Take a speed. V1135 uh, VR140 V2143. CD brief flight. Completed. A trip. 5.2 units. Zero, zero. Taxi and takeoff briefing. Completed. Anti collision light. On. Before start check completed. Thanks. Ground flight deck. Ground. Yes, sir. We got pushback clearance uh, facing Zulu. Advise when to release the parking brake. Facing Zulu, please release the parking brake. Parking brake is released. Block off time 0610 on time. On time. Thank you. We start pushback facing Zulu. Correct. Ground to flight deck. You can start your engines. Roger. Start sequence will be two, then one. Sequence two and one, clear, you can start. So I'm going to start engine number two. Number two. So as you can see, start valve is open and two is starting to rotate. And you'll quite visibly notice that the 
time to start up an NG is significantly less than on the max. Start to cut out. Engine stabilized. Start engine number one. Grab the cockpit. We finish first back. Please set the parking brake. Parking brake set. Parking brake set. We lift it down. Thank you. Start to cut out. Engine stabilized. Ground flight deck. Ground. Two good starts. You may disconnect. Rear to hand signals on the right hand side. Thank you very much for your help, and we'll see you on the other side. All equipment is removed. Uh, safety pin is removed. One person on the right side of the aircraft. Thank you. Have a nice flight. See you next time. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. So, ground equipment is removed. Flaps one. Flight controls. And you can wave off to the uh, ground personnel. Rudder. And before taxi checklist. Before taxi checklist generators. On. Probe heat. On. Anti-ice. Off. Isolation valve. Auto. Engine start switches. Continuous. Recall. Checked. Order brake. RTO. Engine start levers. Idle intent. Ground equipment. Clear. Before taxi check is completed. Thanks. Request taxi. Ground dot eight uh, five five seven. Request taxi. Alert eight five five seven. Begin taxi via uniform Zulu on Zulu hold short of taxiway mic. Uniform Zulu on Zulu hold short before mic. Alert uh, eight five five seven. Okay. Clear on the left. Clear on the right. Clear on the left. Clear on the right. And Zulu short of mic. Hey, firm. Alrighty, Zulu Alpha Sierra 3 Delta as briefed. So the cabin is ready, uh, take off review. Auto throttle arm, LNAV VNAV armed, runway 15, climbing 6000, flap required 1.
selected one, indicated one, checked. So what the radar my side terrain display yours please and before takeoff checklist. Before takeoff checklist flight controls. Checked. Flaps. One green light. Uh, before takeoff checklist completed. Thanks. Clear on the left. Clear on the right. Clear on the left. Clear on the right. Lot 8557, tower is in the line up and we want 500. Clear on the left, 8557. Clear on the left, clear on the right. Eight five five seven, wind one five zero degrees, six knots, and we one five. Keep takeoff, airborne one two eight eight zero five. Those one five. Keep takeoff, airborne one two eight eight zero five. Eight five five seven. So ready, ready, take off. Caution for these birds, but it looks like it's going to be no factor. And one heading select Toga. Take off trust set. Eighty knots. Checked. Throttle hold. V1. Rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. I'll nav. Check. V nav speed. Check. And one heading select Toga. Take a trust set. Eighty knots. Checked. Throttle hold. V1. Rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. I'll nav. Check. V nav speed. Check.
Set the level 240. Uh, 240 is set. Checked. Flaps up. Speed is checked. And open speed window, set the flaps up speed. Flaps up speed. Set to check. Flaps up no lights. After the contract list. The contract is engine plates on, box, auto, let me be up and off, flaps up no lights. After the contract is completed. Thank you. Set direct to Avina. Avina data, confirm. Execute. And close speed window. Altimeters standard. Stop at six. Crossing level on three. Now checked. And if you can adjust heading to track. Some belts auto, please. Flight level one hundred check complete. Thanks. So looks like a uh, beautiful day to fly. Perfect day. All across Europe. We're at 1,000 to level off. Checked. Uh, flight level 400, which is going to be our uh, final cruise altitude for today's flight to uh, Olbia. We just crossed the border uh, with the Czech Republic, and we're in the uh, Prague FIR, communicating via CPDLC on today's flight as well. And um, a technique I would like to uh, share with you that we have as a, a company policy as well is that once we're established in the uh, cruise, we do a so-called cruise briefing, which we have completed with Mirek a few minutes back. And um, one of the parts of the cruise briefing 
encompasses uh, choosing an en route, a suitable en route alternate. So, as you can see in magenta circle with the four letter ICAO code Echo Papa Kilo Tango is the Katowice Pizhovice Airport. And that's definitely a uh, good um, en route alternate for this part of the flight since uh, we do operate on a regular basis in and out of there, especially in the summer season. And uh, we do have a technical base over there as well. So, the aerodrome is suitable with the um, fire category. We have a handling um, agent over there which would be um, more than capable of of um, performing the required needs of us after an arrival, a potential arrival, uh, as well as the uh, airport is suitable. If you look at the chart over here, the runway is plenty long enough, 3,200 meters. There's an ILS approach on one side and an RMP approach uh, to the west on runway 09. So for this phase of the flight, we definitely selected Katowice to be our enroute alternate. And we always uh, think ahead of uh, what uh, possibilities we can encounter either a medical situation on board or perhaps a technical malfunction of the aircraft which would uh, command us to return and, uh, and land at a, a suitable airport. So definitely for uh, situational awareness and to build a mental picture and a plan in case we need it. Definitely um, in aviation we always tend to think ahead. Alright guys, so a quick uh, update to our route. Uh, as you can see, we progressed nicely. We're still, still at flight level 400. Uh, we're currently cruising at 429 uh, knots due to some slight headwinds. Uh, we just overflew uh, the city of Ljubljana. We're in uh, Slovenian airspace. And we're shortly, uh, we'll transition into the uh, Croatian airspace. Along the route, we'll have a nice view of our left-hand side of the aircraft. A nice view of um, the city of Pula. And then we'll transition into Italian airspace at Point Baxon, um, overflying around the vicinity of uh, Rimini. And there's going to be a nice view on the right hand side. Then in the vicinity of Rome. And then we'll start our descent into the uh, Olbia airport. And as you can see, Olbia is located on the northerly part of the uh, Sardinia island.